Dana White has been making some announcements, and we got to get into this. UFC 304, July 27th in Manchester, England. Guys, listen to this fight card. Edwards versus Muhammad. That is the welterweight main event title fight. We've got Aspinall versus Blades, Green versus Pimblet, Allen versus Chikadze, and Mokaya versus Kopp. This is an excellent, excellent fight card. But, Dean, we have to talk about this welterweight title fight. Okay, of course, it is a rematch. Leon and Bilal have fought before. It was 2021. It ended in a no contest. Uh, Bilal has been on a tear. Leon has defeated Nate, Kamaru twice, and Colby. What do you make of the match? Can we just say it's about daggone time that Bilal Muhammad got his shot. Yeah. No one deserves it more than Bilal Muhammad. I don't know if there's ever been a fighter who's more deserving of a title shot. This man has done everything. But Leon Edwards is the king of the division right now. They fought before. It was a little shaky for Bilal. But let's just say this. Bilal knows that fights are, only, are five rounds, not one round. He's going to be prepared for this opportunity. Well, I think that's what's interesting, Dean, is they have fought before. It wasn't going Bilal's way. He was having a really tough time up until the no contest. But both of them have grown a lot. They've, they've both gotten better. And I'm excited to see who's grown more. I think that uh, Leon Edwards has, has really shown himself uh, to be able to fight a bunch of different types of styles, a bunch of different types of guys. But Bilal's different. He's got a different type of pressure, a pace. I think he's faster. He gets credit for uh, I'm excited for that fight. He was willing to fight during Ramadan. Yeah. So you, we know he's ready. And he wants he's, it. Yeah. He right, wants right. it. And he's beaten Maya, Wonderboy, Vicente, Luque, Sean Brady, and Gilbert Burns to get here. So I think he is ready, and he has definitely earned it. Uh, but, Anthony, we have to talk about the co-main event. It is a heavyweight interim title fight, and, of course, it is a rematch. So we all remember when we were in London and Tom Aspinall and Curtis Blades were fighting. It only took a few seconds, so unfortunately, there was an injury to Aspinall. We know that story now. His knee was hurt. Curtis Blades gets the victory, but my goodness, this is going to be a heck of a rematch. And what a risky fight for Tom Aspinall. He could sit and hang out uh, and just wait for the, the for John Jones to see to fight and figure they, those guys can figure it out for themselves and then and then fight the winner. But he wants to stay active and he wants to fight. And he may be fighting the worst matchup in the entire division for him. Uh, Curtis Blades matches, his, matches him in size. He's just as mobile. He's just as powerful. And there's always the ability for Curtis Blades to get a takedown, ground him out, control him from the top, that vicious ground and pound that we've seen with Overeem. It's a really, really risky fight. I think that says a lot about Tom Aspinall. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that this is the most dangerous fight for Tom Aspinall in the entire heavyweight division. A man who can take him down and hold him for 15, for 25 minutes. Yeah. 25 minutes, and he could do that to Tom Aspinall. Tom Aspinall will be better off waiting for John Jones. Yeah, well, if you look at MMA math, they have a shared opponent in Pavlovich, and Aspinall did get the win where Curtis Blades did lose to him, so you never know, but that is an incredible co-main event, an interim title fight in the heavyweight division. Also on that card, we're going to have Patty Pimblett up against Bobby Green, so that is something we will break down, of course, as we get closer to that fight, but everybody wants uh, Patty, and Bobby got him.